Today's video today is gonna to be the first ever I'm not gonna call it a tutorial today is gonna to be a get ready with me because I want to talk to you about the whole process of creating the pure X Robbie Grizzly palette can you guys even believe this is a thing that this is out that this is like a tangible product that I'm able to like hold in my hand and talk to you guys about I can't I can't believe it because this has been the longest time in the making I'm gonna to talk to you guys about all of that when this started how this all went down the process of creating something like this how the whole launch went down which <laughs> If you were a part of it, you know. I'm just gonna go through everything and um, hopefully we can chat about it all and just get it all out there. And I'm gonna do my makeup with the palette at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the neutral look that I was actually wearing in the reveal video. This is my go-to makeup look with this palette. This is the one that I wear almost every single day. And we're just gonna have a good time and chat. And I'm so excited. I'm also gonna wear um, one of the pairs of lashes. I'm gonna be wearing the Lovely Lash from my collection with Pure. I can't even believe I'm saying any of this and that I'm actually filming this because you guys just don't know how long this has been going on and what this process is like. It's so it's so different from what you might expect it to be like. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna quit talking. Well, I'm not gonna quit talking. I'm actually gonna talk a lot through this entire video, so I'm <laughs> sorry. Hey guys, so I'm popping in a few days later than this video was filmed because I have update on the restock and everything that I talk about in this video. I didn't have the dates when I filmed this, so I was just gonna insert it in. So before we get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna talk all about in this video, so stay tuned if you wanna hear about like launch and everything. I know it did not go according to, to plan whatsoever, and trust me, I, I wish with every fiber of my being that I could change the way that that happened on launch day. And I'm so sorry if you had a really rough ordering experience. I know a lot of people did. As far as restock is concerned, because that was the main question, as soon as we sold out, which we sold out that first day, as soon as we sold out, everyone was asking, when's the restock going to be? So I talked to Pure and we were like, can we get this as soon as possible? Because it was such a rough ordering experience for so many people. The website kept crashing. Again, I'm gonna go into that a little bit more in this video. So this palette was always meant to be limited edition. This wasn't ever going to be a permanent product for Pure, just like most brand collaborations are, they are limited edition. Because you guys had such a rough ordering process on the day of, we wanted to make the restock quick so that people that weren't able to get it are able to get it. And we wanted to do it as a pre-order because you, know, you pay now and then it gets shipped to you as soon as it's made. And it gets it to you as quick as possible on restock. So we decided to do a pre-order restock, which is actually going to go live Saturday at noon. So Saturday the 18th, which is, I don't know when you're watching this video. Hopefully I got this up on the 17th sometime. I don't really know, I'm trying and working. Saturday the 18th at noon, and it's going to run until Monday the 20th at 
11.59 p.m., so basically midnight. There's a brand new website, so it is not on purecosmetics.com. It's on purexrawbeautychristy.com, and it is now hosted by Shopify, and they have the ability to handle way more traffic on the site. I know a lot of people are like, well, Shopify can crash too, but generally that's only happened during like humongous launches. Like we're talking millions and millions of people on the site way more than the average launch would ever be. All orders placed during the pre-sale will start shipping between August 31st and September 17th. I know that's a ways away, but that's how long things take to make. Anybody that has already purchased and has not heard back from Pure yet, they are getting back to everyone as quick as possible. They've made it through a ton of the stuff and they are trying to get through to everybody. And I really hope that you guys are able to get everything resolved. If you guys have any further questions at all, I know that um, Pure's customer service team has been answering a lot of questions. So please do reach out to them if you have any questions regarding your order. I'm gonna prime my eyes while I'm doing this. I'm gonna actually use the Fenty concealer for this. My face right now, I already did it off camera. I didn't, I'm kind of zitty right now, okay? And I just, I'm feeling a little self-conscious. So I just did my face beforehand. I'm wearing the Pure 4-in-1 Love Yourself Foundation. I'm wearing the shades MN2 and I mixed it in with a little bit of MN6. I would recommend if you're gonna use this palette, to definitely prime your eyelids. I actually am not a fan of using the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation and Concealer as an eye primer for this. I find that I get creasing when I do it. I don't know why, but I was like, gosh, is that the palette that's causing the creasing? When I started using a concealer and using like a tiny little bit of powder over it, all of that completely stopped. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm just gonna jump into how this whole thing happened. So I already explained in my video that I went to Mexico with Pure. They invited me on my first ever brand trip. They asked me to collaborate with them. I think it was in October of 2018. Okay, you guys, I'm so, I'm so excited right now. This is the crappiest video quality ever. I'm so sorry. We just got home and opened a package that was arrived and look what it is. It's, it's okay. So today is October 4th and 2018. And this is my palette design. This is the design that I came up with and I didn't even know that Pure made this yet. Like I just showed them my little cardboard design and then look at it. Yeah, you, this is what I sent them and this is all they got. This is all they had in mind. Like but I just like, seconds. just like was like, okay, this, this is what I want. And then this is what it is. <laughs> look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, how neat. So cute. Wow! <laughs> Yes, that's a really long time ago. You guys might be like, why did it take so long? It's like everything in this world. You have a set plan and you have a timeline and then you try to stick to that timeline, but you know, it depends on who you are as a person. It depends on how picky you are. It depends on formulas. It depends on, you know, lab samples and how things go. And for me personally, I'm gonna explain myself as a collaborator. When I see something that I've created, I'm too close to the project. I'm too in it. I'm too judgmental about it. I, I agonize over everything that I do. I had to come to the realization not everybody likes everything and that took me a really, 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 really long time. Every color that got sent my way, so I gave my initial concept and that's kind of how you do things. So what do you like? What colors do you like? What What's your concept? What's your idea? And then you, you know, go through and you give all of that feedback. Then you are sent like your first round of samples where they might be like, tell us what you like. I'm like, no, here's a Photoshop document and a mile long email about everything that I possibly could consider liking and everything that I want and everything is color coded and in categories. That's the kind of person that I am. And so I knew that I wanted to do eyes. There was no question about that. I needed to do a palette and I wanted to have it be that double sided so that it could be small. And I'm really glad that so many of you do like that concept. So not only just trying to come up with shade benchmarks off of pre-existing shades that you have, but then getting this, which you have every single potential color available to you in every single undertone. And it's not just this one, it's also this one. You've got, look how many shades that is. I mean, we're talking like hundreds, thousands. It's like, okay, if you were to be like, gonna go buy a home and they're like, okay, here's three to choose from. And you're like, all right, this is the one I like the most. But when they're like, here's a million to choose from. You're like, how am I ever gonna pick one? <laughs> because I like the door on this one, but I like this one on this one. How do you pick? Well, I don't know. The answer is you lose your mind about it. I went through every single color and I put like little stickies on everything that I liked. And then I went through and I compared those little stickies with other little stickies and I compared it with shadows and I compared it with everything that exists. And that took me forever. 
it's not just per shade. You're like, okay, so I know I want like a kind of a golden rod yellow kind of color. Okay, well you have 800 to choose from, so choose between those. Not only that, but you don't just have the one color to choose from. You have 18 shades you have to do this with. It's, it's just one of those things where you're like, which eyebrow am I on? It's not as cut and dry and as quick as one might think, especially with neutrals. How do you choose between every neutral color that exists and everybody has a different preference? So not only do you have to choose the neutrals for what you like, but hoping that other people might like them. Same with the colorful shades. I would say to get to the point where with packaging and designs and all the artwork and the names and everything, that took me months and months and months and months. Like, And that sounds like way too long, but imagine you're in the middle of filming other YouTube videos, doing other sponsored content, and coming up with all of that stuff in the middle of all of it while continuing to live your life, continue to, you know, cook yourself dinner and try to be a, a somewhat round, rounded human being. It just takes a really long time. So that's kind of why. So this initially was supposed to launch a while ago, and then COVID happened. You don't have full control over everything. COVID really pushed things back because again, like samples and labs and factories and stuff, everything stopped. So at the same time, when things were supposed to be going, they were halted completely and that's nobody's fault. So, you know, you just have to take it in stride and have it be what it was. This definitely was supposed to launch quite a while ago. I've seen some really, really amazing feedback. You don't know what that feels like to have something that you put your heart and soul into. And I mean it when I say I put my heart and soul into this palette. I know everything about every single thing about it. And to have people use it and like it is the best feeling in the world. And you guys just blew me out of the water with your support and how much you have truly given me a new outlook on things because the way that you see it, because I've seen it so many times and I've seen it in so many different ways that to me, it is so difficult for me to see past my creation of it into what other people might like. So I have agonized over everything about this for so long and I am so glad you guys like it because now I can see it with fresh eyes, seeing people who have never held it before. They've never swatched it. They've never seen the concept, you know, and it's new to you and then, to have you like it is such an amazing feeling. It could make me cry right here, right now. I can't, I can't. So that's kind of how the whole collection came to be. A million trillion emails sent, a million bits of feedback that I had to give, just so much behind the scenes stuff. A stress like I've never experienced in my life, but it's a good stress because it comes from a place of creation. And again, like every painting I've ever painted, every sculpture I've ever done with clay, every song I've ever sung, everything. I'm really hard on myself. I don't know what that is. I mean, I need to work on that. That if I think like, oh, nobody's gonna like this, that if they don't, I'm like confirming that in my head, like knew it. It's like I'm protecting myself from like the bad reviews. Cause if it got any, I'd be like, well, told you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like, it's really detrimental to my mental health, I'll tell you what. It's all made, it's all out, it's finally launched, and then you see how launch day went. Um, if you didn't know, launch day was, it did not go as planned. Basically, you guys broke Pierre's website. Uh, I didn't expect that at all. I don't think they did either. I think they definitely expected traffic, but I don't think they expected that level of traffic. You guys, it crashed. It crashed so badly. And I was, I wish I could <laughs> put into words. I cried um, from sun up to sun down because I felt so insanely guilty for how long so many of you guys waited on that website. Like you guys sat on that website trying to purchase it while being kicked out left, right, and center over and over and over again for like 18 hours. And some people actually waited that long. And the thought that anyone out there waited that long for something with my name attached to it with, and, and that frustration and that like, raginess that you get. I felt so insanely guilty. I wanted, I didn't know what to do and there was nothing I could do. And Pure was behind the scenes, absolutely doing everything in their power to get the website up and running. But even with the increase in servers and even with everything that they did to prepare, it didn't prepare for launch day enough. I don't think they really have ever had that kind of traffic on their website before. And for that, I am so sorry, you guys. Like, I can't say sorry enough. And I know, you know, if I could have done something, I would have. If I could have hopped on a plane and fixed something, if I could have if I could have done anything I would have and I there was nothing I could do and there was nothing even like their IT team and everybody was behind the scenes scrambling and trying to fix it and so for that if you sat in that line if it kicked you out if you were unable to get something my sincerest apologies for you for how long that took and how frustrating I know that must have been for so many of you trust me I was absolutely horrified and sitting behind the scenes just like 
sick to my stomach. For that, I am eternally sorry, beyond what words could ever describe. I, I was like, you guys, I was not okay. I was so sick to my stomach with the fact that so many of you were probably like wasting your entire day and so frustrated. I know what it's like ordering and when things are frustrating because I'm a consumer. Before I'm a YouTuber, I like makeup and I like to buy makeup. And I know that when like launches are frustrating, it's just such a turnoff, but know that I am like doing everything in my power behind the scenes to make sure that this never happens again. And that this next Next round goes super smoothly and everybody who wants one gets one so trust me I am doing everything I can to make that a reality I'm gonna do my skin first because I'm just like at this point um, so I'm just gonna like finish off my face and then I'll do my eyes even though the palette does have some kick up because the shadows are super soft which I'm gonna talk about in a second I don't really get much fallout if any at all which I'm surprised by I'm using the um, hourglass ghost palette for this right now these are the highlights I've been using every single day I can't get enough, you guys. I can't get enough. They are the Jaclyn Hill highlights. And I think I used these recently in a video and somebody in the video, cause I said, why would these be limited edition? And then somebody said they're still available on the website. So if they are, hell yeah. I thought that they weren't for sure because I specifically remember her saying that they were limited edition. So either way, I'm using the shades Beam, Iced, and Mesmerized. These are ones that I use the most. They give that really beautiful, like lit from within glow. They're intense, but man, I really like them. I've been wearing them every single day. I think they're gonna make it into my favorites. So I put way too much highlight on my nose. So I mentioned in my video that I did um, announcing this collection. I talked about how the launch party that we were supposed to have for this, it was gonna be so cool, you guys. It was gonna be so cool. And I'm so sad that it couldn't happen. Stinking COVID made it have to get canceled. And you know, things happen, but when I tell you, I was just crushed because it was gonna be so cool. The coolest launch party ever. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the palette right now. I'm gonna go in with the shade Copper Boxes. This is my like go-to. This is exactly what I've been doing. I'm gonna use the Morphe M441 brush because this is what I've been using. As you can see, it's super dirty, but it's the shades that I'm gonna be using. So it is what it is. But I'm gonna go in with Copper Boxes first and I'm going to just put that all throughout my crease. I'm gonna show you. So I just tap, tap, tapped right in. These shades do have kick up, but again, if you tap off the brush after you're done, so like tap gently in, tap it off, and then like pat it on and blend it in, I haven't had any issues with fallout really. So the shades are just really, 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 really soft, but even though they have that kick up, I've used this shade probably like 40 times and I'm still nowhere near a like a dent in it. So they do last really, really well. As far as um, pigment and everything like that goes, if you've tried pure shadows before, these are a different formula. So these are pressed pigment formula. So we went through many, many, many different ones and this is the one I landed on. I really, really like it. I feel like it blends really nicely and it also has, it packs the punch as far as pigment is concerned. So if you've tried pure shadows in the past and maybe haven't been as much of a fan, you may wanna try this one if you're interested in the color scheme or you're interested in the collection at all, it is different. It isn't like my formula. I didn't create this formula. Sometimes people say they'll be like, this is my formula. It isn't like mine, but it is a really nice formula. I really like it. As far as the launch party is concerned, man, it would have been so cool, you guys. Oh, it was so sad. It was supposed to be back in April, right before this was gonna launch. And that was already a pushed back date, but it's what we had to work with. It was back when I went and did my photo shoot in March. And I'm gonna show you guys some footage of that in a moment, I'll talk to you guys about it. But I went and did the photo shoot for the campaign images and the videos and everything that you guys saw. So they asked me, they were like, what kind of event do you want? And what do you like, picture this being. And I was like, you know, I don't picture like a club setting. I'm just not the kind of person. I'm not somebody that like loves to go to dance and stuff like that. And this was at the very beginning of COVID. So uh, they asked me like, what do you want? And I was thinking, I was like, what could be cool? What would people come to? Cause I would want to, you know, keep it relatively intimate. I wouldn't want an event with like 600 people and a bunch of alcohol and stuff. Just not the kind of person that I am. I can have fun at those events for sure, but they're not like a, uh, I don't see them as me, you know? And so I was thinking like, what would be so fun and just chill and laid back? And I thought to all of the events that I had ever been to and which ones did I like the most? And I kept thinking back to two different events that I had gone to that I really, really loved. And that was, I went to Disney with ColourPop earlier this year. Was that this year? Like, no, was that last year? I don't even remember when that was. Time doesn't mean anything to me anymore. ColourPop had invited me to go to Disney with them and we went to 21 Royal, which forever grateful to be invited to that because that was like the coolest experience. It was one, it was one of the 
coolest experiences of my life, like to be honest with you. Um, and that was really, really, really fun. So that was just so fun because it was laid back. You didn't have to dress up. Nobody had to wear heels. It was like, you didn't, it didn't matter if your makeup was done up. You're just at Disney. You're having so much fun. You're walking around. You're like living your best life, eating corn dogs. And I was like, man, that was fun. And then I also went a couple years ago, I think it was 2018, in October, I got invited to, it was called Horror Made Here. And it was an event that Nyx threw and they took us to Warner Brothers studio and we got to do like the Warner Brothers tour and we got to go in early and it was like, it was so fun. I was there with um, the whole Knicks crew, but I hung out that whole night with Pontberry and Daniel, Z-R-O-T-F-L. And it was so much fun. And it was just, you gotta wear what you wanted to wear. Again, it didn't matter if you were wearing a lot of makeup. It didn't matter if you were, you know, you didn't have to buy a new outfit for it. It was just so fun. We just got to walk around and scream and be scared. And it was so much fun. We got to just have a good time, eat whatever we wanted, drink whatever we want. It was just so fun. So I was thinking like those were two events that I just had a ball at and I was like I want my event to be like that So they had given me some suggestions like you can do an intimate dinner You can do like karaoke you can do and I was like I have never been to Universal Studios and I would love to go to Universal Studios and Just have a fun day with all the people that I really love in this industry and just laid back awesome food It could make me cry thinking about it right now. It was um going to be held at Universal Studios. And it was gonna be so much fun. It specifically was right next to Harry Potter. I've never been in my life. I've never been to Universal Studios. And you guys know Harry Potter is like, I mean, it's featured on the palette with the Deathly Hollow symbol. Like, by the way, this is the color I'm putting it on now. This is Camelot. And I'm just taking that same brush. I only use this one brush for the whole look. And I'm running that along the inner corner right here and the outside to kind of blend that shade up. It was gonna be held at a little like, cafe place in there. I can't remember what it's called. Um, La Melie or something like that. La Mel. I can't remember how to pronounce it, but it's right there in Universal and it's right next to Harry Potter land. And we were going to have it kind of closed off. So like influencers could come, you wear whatever you wanted. And I had a guest list of like, I think 40 people and everyone was going to have a wand like a Harry Potter wand that they would have waiting there for them because it's interactive when you go into Universal apparently. You can like play, you can have the wand and you can like do spells and stuff like that. And we were gonna have all different kinds of food but it was all gonna be like non-pretentious food. Like we were gonna have mini corn dogs, mini tacos, mini burgers, like watermelon and little cupcakes and cookies and lemonade. And it was gonna be just like so chill and there would be like a bar to where if people wanted to drink, they could and um, you know, it was just just the, the, the best kind of atmosphere. That's what I wanted, just to have like fun music and like a photo section where we could all take pictures together and super yummy food that's like theme park. We were gonna have mini churros with different dips to dip it in. And not only that, but it was gonna be an all day thing. So we would all get an all day pass to Universal to skip the lines and go play and like ride on rides and have all kinds of like theme park food. And then the event would be right there set up. So if you wanted to come back and get a drink, you guys, it was gonna be so much fun and I was gonna wear a cloak and I was gonna get to do my Harry Potter light for the first time and so we went I actually went with her when I was there for the photo shoot just to check it out just to look and see what the event was gonna be like by the way I'm taking the shade B right now and I'm taking just a little tap of that right on the outer corner here and I we went together with the pure team and we met with the staff at Universal and they talked us through everything and my god it was gonna be so cool i understand there are way bigger problems in the world and this is on the smallest list it's not e it's a non-issue it's an event that got canceled trust me i would that's why i haven't said anything about this to anywhere uh, obviously there's way bigger fish to fry in the world and there are actual real problems happening uh, i still wanted to mention it though because i wanted to like give it its time and talk about how cool it would have been so that was going to be the event and oh man i just wish it could have happened so badly they were really going all out for it they were so receptive to like having it be such an, a special time for not just me but just for everyone who had worked on this and all the time that everyone had spent so that was gonna be the event. It was gonna be so much fun and such good food and such good vibes and, but that's okay. People had to cancel their weddings and stuff. So this is so small in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so I'm taking the shade Copper Boxes and a little bit of Camelot and I'm gonna run those on my lower lash line just to kind of blend everything in together. And then I'll add the shimmer shade at the end. The photo shoot I went down, we also had that whole like photo shoot and video shoot and they asked like what kind of concept I wanted. And my initial concept was because it's the different sides to yourself. So that's the whole theme of the palette. Initially. 
initially my idea for the photo shoot was to do um, like a room with like clones of myself in it because I was like, how cool would that be to like have a room and like I'm in there and you know, I'm like answering the phone or I'm like walking through the door and I'd like have a bunch of different me's in the room and different like types of makeup and stuff like that. And the photographer that we used kind of gave his own concept into it to have it be like the, just two of me instead of it being like five of me to have it be two and to have that the different side. So they've got me looking in the mirror and me walking through the door and doing my own makeup. That was actually my idea to have me like doing my own makeup. That was how the whole concept came to be. They just were like, how can we make this clear that we're doing like the double sides to yourself and I think that's kind of the concept we came up with I really really like the way that it turned out they made that whole day like such a great experience and it was just so like upbeat had really good energy in the room because they had music playing and it was any music that I wanted to play and good food and it was just such a cool experience okay I'm gonna take some of the golden ticket shade and I just tapped a little bit into that so it's not too much I'm just gonna take that on the inner corner here you can really swipe this on if you want more of that like super metallic look. I'm wanting that like barely there sparkle. So I'm just really tapping gently. And now I'm gonna stick the lashes on. I also have been, when I do this look, I use some brown eyeliner because I really like everything to be similar in tone. I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Brownstone liner and I'm going to just line my lower waterline. It was really cool to be in a space like this. You know, I've done photo shoots before in the past, but never for anything of my own, you know, this is the first time that I've done one for something that I created. And so it was really cool to have that creative control. So they asked me if I wanted to have a makeup artist and it just felt, I don't know, it just felt kind of wrong to have a makeup artist for somebody who does her own makeup. I was like, you know what? I do my own makeup. I've been having, I've done my own makeup on my YouTube channel for years. I, I feel like I should do my own makeup for the campaign. So I actually pushed to do my own makeup for that. And I'm really glad that I did. It made it really nerve wracking on me because it was like one look after another, because I think we did five makeup look changes and I think it was a 10 or 12 hour day. I think it was a 12 hour day. And we did a bunch of makeup changes. It ended up working out really, really well. I'm really happy with the way that everything came out. I love the way that the looks came out. It put pressure on in one way because I had to like be creative and be on. I couldn't just sit there and relax and enjoy. But at the same time, it was like that creative control that I needed. It's like that same sort of control that I like to be the one driving the car. I like to be in control of things because it makes me feel like I'm in control of the situation. I needed to be in control of one aspect of that. And so I really liked it to be the makeup portion. I'm really happy that we did because I can recreate all the looks for you now. These are the lovely lashes, by the way. These are one of the sets of lashes from the collab with Pure. And these are the ones I get the absolute most use out of. So I had a stylist and I had a hairstylist and that was really fun. Uh, it just felt so glamorous. That's so far removed from what my life looks like in the everyday. My life in the everyday is like, you know, waking up and hanging out with cats all day long. So it was really cool to like feel kind of glamorous and stuff, you know, it was just so far removed from what life is like for me. And it was awesome. It was really, really fun. And that got done. And then and little does everybody know, a few days later we got home from that and that's when I got pregnant. It was a wild time. I mean, we went to LA and it was almost like all the stress of that whole thing, just having it be done and having everything off my shoulders. And it, I don't know, it was just kind of like, the lead up to that, I was so nervous for the photo shoot and everything. And then after everything was said and done, to be just stress free, came home, got pregnant. <laughs> I saw some people's feedback and they were saying, you know, there's been a lot of palettes releasing recently and it's just, a, it's another eyeshadow palette. Remember that this was in 2018. So everything that happened in 2019 with just the amount of releases and the amount of eyeshadow palettes that came out, those hadn't even been invented before I came up with this. So that's how long, you know, things take just to get them right and to make sure that you are happy and that you are releasing something that you are so proud of and that you can stand behind. That, at least for me, it just takes a while and I'm really happy with the way that things turned out. I'm really happy with some of the reviews I've already seen. I can't believe they're already out and people are like getting their palettes and stuff and that you guys are being so well receiving of this. I wish so badly that everyone could have gotten it on launch day. I just, I don't think I ever could have anticipated that it would be received the way that it was and that you guys would be as excited about it. Ugh, the way that I see myself and the way that things are or just, I don't know, I think they're just two different things because I, I just was so surprised at how many of you were in line to, to get it. And I thank you endlessly from the bottom of my heart. I cannot express it enough in words. It's like I'm living someone else's life. I can't even 
understand how this is my life and I get to live it. And I am so forever grateful more than any words could ever describe. So thank you so much more than you could ever understand. I'm gonna do my lips the way that I've been doing them. I'm using ColourPop's Little One liner and I have been overdrawing the top just a little bit right here and the bottom, just in the center, just like that. And then I take gloss. Guys, look at this. Have you ever used an entire gloss before? Because the, I think this is the first time I've ever legitimately been scraping the tube. Like, can you see how there's actually nothing left in here? That's how much of this dreamy gloss I've used. It's so good. This is the Lunar Beauty Dreamy Gloss. Nothing compares, guys. Nothing. I'm gonna do a couple of faux freckles because that's what I've been doing recently. I wanna keep it consistent. What I've been doing is using a, a little pointed brush and then I actually go in with my shades from the palette. So I take B and Told You and I just kinda do a one tap into each of them. And then I just tap the colors on with the little pointed brush. And this gives them kind of that like auburny hue to it. I still have to put mascara on to tie these lashes and I'm just letting them dry. But I've been doing the faux freckles and I really think it's cute. I love the way that it looks. So yeah, that's the whole collaboration. I mean, it's I haven't like gone into super detail. I did take some footage of everything when I was doing all of the work. Like I think I have all the footage from the first time that Zach and I ever sat down after we confirmed like you are going to be collaborating with Pure and we sat down to like come up with the concepts and ideas. It's crazy how much trends change and how much ideas change and how much people change in that amount of time. Like we're talking different people. Like I don't even know what I was doing in 2018. I mean, I, I think I had when Pure asked me to collab, I maybe had like three, 400,000 subscribers. It was just, I just, it's hard to even know what my thought process was or who I even was in that time. You know, people change so much in such a short amount of time. I don't know what I did to get so lucky with you guys, but I'm telling you, I would bet money on the fact that I have the best subscribers on the face of this earth. Like nobody can tell me that's not true. You guys are just like truly the nicest people that exist. Like the, the support and the comments and the reaction I could have never in my life expected that. I mean, you guys really took this experience and made it the best for me that you ever could have. There's no amount of words I can use that would ever convey the true appreciation I have for all of you and how much I appreciate what you made this experience for me. I really hope with this restock that's coming up, any of you who missed out are able to get it and that you like it and don't feel like you missed out. I'm so sorry about that. I really, I sorry is like, I know that I can sit here and apologize all day long and people are probably like quit apologizing, but it's just not the way I wanted it to go. So, um, I thank you guys all so much for your kindness and support and love. Uh, this is the eye look here. It's just those three shades on the left. Camelot, cover boxes, and B, and then golden ticket right on there. And this is the everyday look. This is the one that I go to more than any others. And then these are the lovely lashes. So if you're looking to see, this is what they look like. And I love this look so much. It's one of my favorites. It makes me feel so pretty. And I'm so glad for all of you who have said that you like the formula means the world to me. I was so picky about that. I think it's just a really easy to work with formula. Forever grateful for all of you. I just can't even express in words how grateful I am for how you have made this for me. I can't believe I get to live this life and that you have made this possible for me. And there's gonna be a lot of tutorials coming up soon too. I just wanted to do this one for you in more of a casual laid back way, but then the next videos that are coming are gonna be really tutorial focused, like me teaching you exactly how to do them and different techniques and different ways to use the palette and different looks you can create. And I'm gonna recreate the campaign images that I did for um, that photo shoot that I was just talking about. So I have lots of different stuff. If you guys have like specific colors or looks that you guys wanna see or anything that you guys are interested in seeing me do a tutorial for, I'm more than happy to do them. I don't wanna inundate you if you guys are like, okay, enough. But I really do want you to know that like I am so excited and I am so grateful and thankful for you and just so excited to be able to sit down and finally talk to you guys about this. Seeing you holding it and swatching it and talking about it is the weirdest feeling because of how long I've been working on this. Seeing you have it is the most insanely crazy cool thing for me. I've been looking at this for so long that to have it in someone else's hand, I'm like, wait, whoa, whoa, it's so weird and it's so cool. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and for supporting and for being wonderful. And I'll see you at my next video. Bye.